Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and today I will be doing a tarot reading for the Sagittarius General Collective. It will also be a general reading, so whatever comes up, comes up. Don't shoot the messenger. I also don't sugarcoat things, so again, what comes up? If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I do not do bullshit tarot. I do not sugarcoat things. What I see is what I say. And if I see stuff that does not look like it's good for you, I'm going to tell you, hey man, you're doing stuff that's not good for you. All right, that's that's just the way it is. And tarot is not a substitute for a medical professional in no way, shape, or form. You are, yeah, you're letting go of the conditioning surrounding love. You're becoming conscious and participating in your existence. And you're going beyond that illusion because you've had you've been struck by lightning like when you find your person it's going to feel like you were struck by lightning because you've been traveling this world alone essentially for so long that when you find your person it's going to feel like lightning has struck you and you're going to know almost instantaneously that that's your person, that that's who you're meant to live your life with for the rest of your life. So you, when you find that person, you're gonna know, like, you are going to know that that is the person that you are meant to be with for the rest of your life. There will be no doubts, there will be no if, ands, or buts about that for you. Sorry, I was cold and I needed a blanket while I do these. Oh my goodness, it's so chilly down here. But when you find your person, you're going to know and you're not going to have any doubts around that, around love. Because your conditioning that was surrounding your love life, it was, you're losing that. It wasn't the best conditioning for you, let's say. Your thoughts on love were... were thoughts that you probably wouldn't want to participate in. So. You've had a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed. And unexpected support to your cause. Yeah, you're going to find love unexpectedly. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. You were thinking that you were powerless and that you weren't. So that means you're manifesting this love into your life. You're manifesting this love into your life. You're also manifesting a new life, actually. You're letting go of things that no longer serve a purpose in your life. You may have just gotten a divorce or on your way to a divorce which is how you are going to find this new person as well um you're falling in love falling in love you're finding forgiveness in in yourself you're listening to your heart you're having intuitive insights that you can trust you're learning how to trust yourself you're learning how to trust your intuitive guidance system 
you're learning that you can be healed, that your relationships can be healed, that you have a strong power of love in you. And you're willing to share that with someone else in the future. You could be hanging out with your friends more. Um, you're reviewing the details of a contract which could be a soul contract um yeah you're awakening you're on a spiritual awakening journey which is probably why you're here watching my channel which is great hey welcome um but you're just learning how to follow your intuitive guidance team Sorry, you're learning how to trust your internal intuitive guidance system and you're learning how to trust the guidance of your intuitive guidance team, which is your spirit guides and the divine and light beings and, and ancestors that are there to help you. That's your spiritual guidance team. Your intuitive guidance system is your intuition, your um, your emotional grounds, your your ability to know what's best for you in any situation. Your healing, and that's part of your motivation. See, you're bringing around magical blessings. All around you are blessings. You have pure intention. You are probably looking at more tarot readers than just me because you're looking for answers and divination. What was lost is found. Your time is precious and you may have seen a fairy. And you know, things are starting over. You're having a lot of new beginnings. You're healing from this past breakup, this past divorce or whatever it was that you went through in the past that caused your negative conditioning surrounding love, your negative programming surrounding love, your negative belief patterns, your negative thought patterns, just what you're healing from that. And you're doing so with a pure intention to do this from a place of love. You're doing this because you love yourself. So therefore you are willing to heal yourself to embark on this journey in life and you're doing it because you're listening to your heart you're listening to your guidance team and your internal guidance system and this is what they came here to do that's too much i'm not taking all of that i'm sorry can you just little bit less there that's good yeah a new beginning newer new romantic cycle begins letting go of people that no longer serve you love lovers a new relationship falling in love uh yeah new beginnings new, yes step out of your comfort zone of course adjustments adjustments are required emotions are running high and don't let your past hold you back 
you. Confidence is key to success. You are good enough and nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. Yeah. So you are going through a new beginning. And this is causing you to see things in a completely new light. And when you're doing that and you're seeing things in a new way, you're realizing that you're good enough, that you're, you're magical, that you, your intuition is spot on. You're healing the deepest, darkest parts of your soul, the parts that were traumatized, the parts that were hurt, the parts that were the parts that thought that they couldn't heal you're healing them and you're doing so with a pure intention of your heart to love yourself you're doing so because you want to love yourself and you know that healing is a form of self-love you may have lost like emotions you may have gone numb for a while and seemed unemotional and now all of a sudden your emotions are flooding back to you you're in the midst of a transformation period where you're letting go of that heartbreak and you are seeing things from a different perspective you're not seeing all of the pain that was caused, but you're seeing how you persevered, how you overcame. You're seeing the possibility for a new beginning and that not everyone is the same. Your lesson right now is that this new person coming into your life is nothing like the old people that you're healing from. The new person that's coming in or the new love situation that is coming into your life is nothing like any of the old situations. It could be it could be the rebirth of another type of relationship because lost and found that is a lot. Just step out of your comfort zone and know that you're strong enough to do it. I only need two or three. That's fine. Okay. Yep. Thank you. There are two males here. It looks like two masculine energies fighting over. There's two masculine energies here fighting over who gets the chance to speak first. Ooh, 333. 333. Um, listen, Sag. Sad. All right. You have got some two people, two masculine energies, because usually the people that are watching my videos um, resonate with divine feminine. So we're going to say you have got two masculine energies trying to fight that are fighting over who gets to talk to you first. Sad. Yes. They're actually fighting over who gets to help you heal. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because it's actually cute, but you've got these two masculine energies fighting over who gets to, to, to see your heart and see who you are. And they're doing, they're coming in fast too. So if you haven't met them yet, you're going to be meeting them soon. And they are going to cross the ocean for you. They're willing to cross oceans for you where this other person, the one that you're crying about, wouldn't even jump a puddle. Yeah, 
these two people are that are fighting over you though will cross an ocean for you while the person in your past that caused all the heartache or the people in your past that caused all the heartache yeah they they wouldn't even they wouldn't even yeah jump over that little tiny puddle oh my gosh that was the cat sorry she scared me when i just saw the cave and the desert and the stone and what made me feel like you know when people say what have you been living in a cave or what have you been living under a rock or what have you been living in the desert like <laughs> All three of those just made me think, what have you been living in a desert under the, in a cave under a rock? <laughs> like, it's like someone thinks that you're so out of touch with life that you've been living in the desert in a cave under a rock for a long time. Or the person that like is coming into your life is like so innocent and so pure that you're like, wow, how did society not even touch you? Have you been living in a cave in the desert under a rock for like, that's, that's all I keep thinking is like your, your relationship, your next relationship is so protected. It's like you guys were living in a cave in the desert under a rock. It's, it's all three things. And you can't deny what is meant to be. It's just not going to happen. You can't do it. People deny what's meant to be all the time. And then that thing ends up coming back. It comes back around ten times stronger. And you can't outrun it. Because what is meant to be will always find you. And if it broke your heart, it's going to find you. What is for you will not pass you by. And what is not for you, well, it's going to give you all kinds of problems if you try to make it for you. <laughs> if it's not for you, then it's not for you. And it looks like you're headed for a great, amazing love. You're on your way to your true destiny. And you aren't taking any chances. You're, you're having a glow up. You're glowing up. You're creating your life the way that you think that it should be. You're healing yourself, you're, you're healing your energy, you're taking time to rest, you're taking time to rejuvenate, you're taking time to, to learn what you love and to go after it. You're taking time to find your voice, to find your inner peace, to find your balance. And essentially, yeah, you were living in a cave in the desert under a rock. Because you didn't... You didn't want everyone to know what you were doing. Because it's not that you were afraid that they would intervene or interfere. It's more like you were protecting your energy from the negative people that were in your life. So you didn't want to want them to know that you woke up at 6 a.m. every morning and started meditating. You didn't want them to know that you woke up at, you know, at 6 a.m. And the first thing you did was drink a glass of water and sit there and look out your window and meditate for 10 minutes on things that you were grateful for. Because the people in your life as soon as they found that out, they would have started making fun of you. Or like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that? Like, you don't need to do all that. Or, 
Like, even if you were getting up at 6 a.m., you drank your water, you did your meditation, and then you went outside for, like, a walk or you exercised. And you started changing your life, but you didn't tell the people around you that you were changing your life. You just started changing it. And they're like, why are you so different now? And they're kind of questioning you on like, why'd you switch up? Why are you so different? Why are you so, I'm looking for the word and I can't find it right now, but it's like, why are you so different? But they're asking you kind of rudely. And you're like, well, I started doing this, this, and this. Well, why didn't you tell us? Because I didn't feel the need to um, broadcast everything in my life to everybody in my life. And I felt the need to do this on my own. It wasn't your business. And I still don't really think that it is your business. But you asked me a question. So I felt the need that I should answer you in a truthful way. And I want to go back to my cave in the desert under the rock. Bye. <laughs> like I answered you and you are still making fun of me but you're not going to change the fact that I'm doing this for myself now you're not you're not going to change who I am you're not going to change who I want to be and you're not going to change who I'm becoming because it's not for you to do it's not for you to come into my life and take over and try to change everything about me. It's just not, it's not, it's not what you're in my life for. Sorry. No one's in my life to take over my life and try to change everything about me. Now, if I want to change, that's for me. Just like if you want to change, that's for you and that's what you're doing. You have decided that you want to change, you want to destroy the false truth that people have been putting in your life. You want to let go of that, release your ex, let your friends help you. Maybe you want to do a little releasing ceremony, like burn them pictures, burn them old hoodies, um, burn, burn. Burn their house down. No, I don't condone arson. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounded like I did, but I don't. Keep an open mind. Heart to heart conversations, religious factors, and new love. See, I told you that it's going to be a new person. And when you find this person, you're going to know. You've got new beginning, new love. You've got a new romantic cycle begins. You have got the ace of cups i believe in one of these and you have got the lovers in more than one way in this this reading so listen you're doing the best that you can for you and that's all you can be asked to do other people cannot tell you what is the best thing for you? They just, it's, they don't know. They don't know. And if they did, then why aren't they doing it for themselves? If they know what's best for you, right? Then why are they not doing those things for themselves? Like, seriously. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to tell you what's best for you i'm going to tell you what is the best choice for most humans now you choose whether or not it's the best choice for you i can't force you i can only guide you i can't force you i can only say hey here's a path you want to get on it you want to walk it Oh, I've already walked it. So here's what I've done. Here's the steps that I've taken. Here's the road that I've gone down. And, and here's the journey that I went on. 
Um, oh, so you want to go a little different? You want to take a couple of different steps? Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. But this is the path that I took, and I see you here, and I did this, and, and I'm willing to help you. Oh, okay, you want to do things a little differently. Okay, well, not everything is for everyone. Not every path is for every person. And I understand that. So if you want to do things a little differently, then go ahead. I'm only here to say, hey, this is the path I took. Maybe it can help you. Maybe it can't help you. Oh, my goodness. I can't. Someone wants to talk to you. Someone wants to talk to you or you want to talk to someone, but it's like their fears, their, their devil, their fears, their or your fears are getting in the way of the world and seeing every option for what it is. It's like they want to talk to you, but they don't they don't know why. It's really weird. That's a strange energy. Sag. Um Sagittarius. It's a very weird energy. I'm not used to that kind of uh, energy. Yeah, it's like they want to talk to you or you want to talk to this person, this other person, and your fears are getting in the way of divine timing. Your fears are postponing what the divine has in store for you, Sag. Like... The divine is like, hey, I, I got a happy family that wants to, like, come into your life. And I, I'm closing out these cycles for you, uh, Sag. But um, you're, not, you're not taking me seriously here. You're, you're not taking me seriously. And until you take me seriously, I can't help you in the way that you need me to. And the universe is like, I wanna help you, but I cannot help you right now because, well, you don't want me to help you. And if you don't want me to help you, then how am I supposed to help you? But when you do want me to help you, I am here for you no matter what. Yeah little confusing when you decide to stop sabotaging yourself and stop going against your better judgment and your intuitive guidance system and your intuitive guidance team when you stop fighting against all that and you stop resisting everything because your devil is resistance you're resisting this whole love like you're resisting unconditional love coming into your life right now you're postponing it, you're resisting it, you're you are actively saying no. No. I cannot have this. I need to go back to my cave in the desert under a rock <laughs> and sing my song in the ocean and destroy all not truths that were in my life. You're burning away that is that which is not true in your life. You are cutting ties with things that no longer serve a purpose for you and you're letting it go so that way this new beautiful love can actually come into your life and be born as a new beginning for you. You are that's why you're living in the cave in the desert under a rock. Because you're essentially 
going through the dark night of the soul and a rebirth, a spiritual rebirth, which is going to call in that new love that you have been calling in because you're letting go of the past and your exes, you're releasing them. You're, you're, you were postponing things, but you were postponing them in order to clear your energy, in order to clear your vibration, in order to clean your life up. You were postponing things, but you were postponing them for a good reason. And now it's time you've made the adjustments that were required and it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone, not let your past hold you back. Confidence is the key to your success. And nothing is set in stone, but you also need to come out from underneath that rock. You're good enough. You can do it. You can do it. You have new cycles all over and emotions and passion are going to be in this new relationship or this rebirth of an old relationship whatever it is i'm there with you and you're gonna see it from a completely different perspective um you're taking time to be alone to 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 kind of commune with the divine on a spiritual level um you're alone but you're not lonely and that's a good thing because you're learning how to sit with yourself which is always beautiful if you can sit with your own energy you can pretty much sit with anyone's energy all right on that note if you stayed down for the ride and you caught my vibe and you want to join my tribe please subscribe like share comment do your thing i love you guys and as always peace